Hello, please take a look at this video that a reader sent me. This was taken during benediction of the Blessed Sacrament at her parish in California on June 9th, 2022. And thank you very much, Ms. Guzman, for sending it to me. She shared with me that she doesn't like to use a phone at all inside of a church out of reverence, but on that day, without even noticing anything out of the ordinary at first, she says she told me that something told her to do so, to get out her phone and record. And at that point she prayed, I quote, My beloved Jesus, show me what you want me to see. And she recorded. I'm going to show you what turned up on the video. It was after a Eucharistic procession for life that went outside of a nearby Planned Parenthood that had recently opened. So please watch the video and then we'll talk about it for a little bit afterwards. Now, I know what the skeptics are shouting right now. That's just a reflection. And I want to 100% admit from the outset, I don't know. It might be just that. Uh, I did do my homework, though, and I did check for the obvious, at least. Here's a picture of the church where this took place. If this were something like a modern church with uh, certain modern churches, at least, with big huge, completely clear picture windows right in the sanctuary, you know, right to the side of the altar there with big trees that have long branches swaying in the breeze right outside, then I'd be perhaps more inclined to think that it might be a reflection. But as you can see, there's no obvious source of window reflection here, at least not one that would have been likely to generate the moving image that we just saw, especially if you consider the angle that this was taken at. Now, I know there's other possible sources of reflection and other potential explanations for what we saw, of course, so I have no way of verifying for sure that this is a sign from God and not just some natural phenomenon. But I see absolutely no harm in considering that it might be a sign. And I know what I myself immediately thought the first time I watched this video. Two things, in fact. First, the first thing that came to my mind, just kind of thought, feeling, flew into my mind and heart was, wow. What is happening either on that monstrance or maybe even within the host itself somehow? It reminds me of how I would picture at least the wings of a seraphim moving. That's what I had thought. Now, I know that's going to sound like a stretch to some, but that's just the feeling I got immediately when I watched this. And to that end, whether it's a reflection or an actual sign from God, it's a beautiful reminder of something that we far too often forget as Catholics. When we are adoring our Lord, in the Blessed Sacrament, where he's 100% truly, really, substantially present, we're never doing that alone. Even if we seem to be the only one in the Adoration Chapel at a given moment, we are, in fact, adoring him with the entire communion of saints. And that, of course, includes every single angel, especially at Mass, but also whenever you're in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. You are just one of an uncountable multitude of angels right there worshiping him. Remind yourself of that the next time you're in the presence of the Eucharist. There's nothing more exciting that you could do than be with the Blessed Sacrament. Okay, the other thing that this video reminded me of, it made me think of an unborn baby being viewed in a sonogram. 
And that feeling also hit me just about right away. Before I even knew, before I'd carefully enough read the email, before I even knew that this was a benediction associated with a pro-life Eucharistic procession. So there's our next powerful lesson from this video. Whether a reflection or a sign from God, it's still a reminder of the humanity of the unborn child and the fact, the fact that Jesus Christ dwells within each unborn child in the womb. We know that's a fact because we know that he dwells in each human being and we know that human life begins at conception and therefore human personhood, same thing. The Catechism teaches this clearly. Jesus himself also considered he was fully God and fully man from the first moment of his conception in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's why we celebrate the Incarnation along with the Feast of the Annunciation. So think about that for a moment. If you've been keeping an eye on Eucharistic miracles and other signs and wonders of these times, and there's so many, you're probably already used to seeing the face of Jesus as a grown man appearing miraculously in places, including on the Blessed Sacrament. But it's just as valid to revere him in all his divinity as an unborn child, which today at least could be viewed on a sonogram. So that's kind of the image we get here, at least that's what it certainly reminds me of. So those are the lessons I hope this video leaves you with. The truth of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, the fact that the whole angelic chorus is right there with you, adoring him whenever you are in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, and the humanity of all unborn children. The fact that Jesus Christ dwells in each and every one of them, and whatever you do for them, you do for him. God bless you.